All right. Well, I know it's been a while since we've videoed anything, but uh, we figured this would be a good time to catch y'all back up on what's going on in our lives, because Wolfie here is about to have surgery. You want to tell why, Wolf? Um, because I have some torn cartilage. Here's the camera right here. <laughs> I have some torn cartilage. Where at? Uh, in my knee, this one. Yeah, it's right knee. Yeah, it's weird. I feel okay, but every once in a while I hear really bad. So it's weird going into a surgery without a lot of pain. I'm used to having like broken bones before surgery, torn something. <laughs> so I don't like surgery. Yeah, we don't like surgery. Whoa. Wolfie. Hopefully this will be a short one. The doctor will go in there, just clean it up, and bring it back out real quick. So, prayers for Wolfie. For our digital on quarterfinals, Texas to Kathleen, and she knew all the way when she crossed the line. She, from her neighborhood, friends and family, mom and dad, so So I made it in the patient's room. There's the patient. Wolf just got changed. We have our own bathroom. Very handy. Both of us had to go very bad. All Wolf has had this morning is fluids. Clear fluids to be exact. Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> he's hungry, <laughs> yes. It's like 1.22. Um, he can't eat anything before surgery, so pretty hungry ready to get this thing over with there's his bed um yeah i don't know how much i can film yeah, it's like oh they gave you socks but i feel like the doctor's gonna come any minute now so uh, they didn't give me socks. we'll uh just keep y'all updated yeah, with what socks. what we can video oh. <laughs> yeah here they are what do they look like wait am i supposed to put these on um i don't know i think they're gonna put them on for you probably you have to put my socks on for it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Sometimes they do it, you know. Alright. I'm gonna get in trouble. I don't know. That. You're gonna get in trouble? Well, don't do it. Wait. Oh, you're right. Okay, it sounds like they're these right outside. The, these aren't the grippy socks. Uh oh. Whatever. You're male. Yep. The women are female. Uh, the female one version is male bald, too. <laughs> yes. And if you have, I'll show you some. Mm. Uh, These little bony areas. Yeah. Going over yeah, a lot of little blonde hair, Wolf. Mm. See, the female looks like that. Oh, oh that's different. Wow. Okay. And the butt's yeah. even bigger. Notice, uh, and the butt's even bigger. The, the butt's are bigger? bigger? That's funny. It's wider, yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. I guess if they had to put an incision on the breast, I guess it's good to have that there. You should be able to, mm -hmm. huh? Are the pills for the nausea? Uh, no, those no. are pain after and before. Oh. Mm -hmm. I won't touch it. I'll take my stuff. Okay. You Keep good? your hand down. Keep your hand for down. Are you done with that? Yes, I am. Okay. I mean, what, what, what are they worth? I'm going to wait till they're done before I give you any of these pills because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. In fact, did I read something that said you're training for the Olympics? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah, actually, we are. Both of you? Oh, you're both training. Yeah. That's awesome. For yeah. what? Um, uh, it, he does the decathlon, which is 10 events, and I do the heptathlon, which is 7. Oh, my uh, gosh. And track. <laughs> so. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Nice. We got to get is. him. I hope you get up. in. Yeah. yeah. Hope we get this all fixed up for you. It'll help. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, you're welcome to watch the screen while we work too. And I quite a few PRP and Corona shots. Oh, have you? Okay, so this is your artery right here, the main ball, and the nerves right over here, and that's where we're going to put the medicine. All right, so try to hold still. You might feel a little poke here, okay? One, two, three. <gasps> keep pushing a little medicine in that black spreading. That's a medicine. Oh my god. 
Okay, so uh, Wolfie just left the room with all the doctors and nurses and um, I'm here just by myself. Well, actually not really because Wolf's parents found a parking spot right outside the window. <laughs> so that's um, Wolf's mom and dad in that car waiting, waiting for us to get Wolfie back in the room. Um, they took him back probably like 20 minutes ago and I'm getting updates from um, the doctor, the nurses, I guess, about what's going on. The latest one I just got was they just started surgery, so just thinking about that and how they're probably cutting into them right now. Um, it's weird waiting around here all by myself. This empty waiting room. I guess I can talk a little bit more. Actually, I feel like I could take this off. But he almost didn't have surgery on his knee because, like you said, it wasn't hurting him that bad. And this injury, like, happened a couple of months ago while we were living in Goliad, actually, in the camper. I don't know if you all saw those um, videos, but he was playing badminton outside and he landed a uh, straight leg, I guess, just really funny. And it kind of hurt him really bad in one spot on his knee. And the doctor said he might have just, like, crushed some of that cartilage in his knee so it's it was only random when it would hurt him but i uh, don't want to take that for granted whenever he's competing um I'm as healthy as possible so i decided to get surgery uh a couple of weeks ago we called the doctor and got an mri and he's like yeah you're missing some some cartilage and it was only painful for him a couple of times but it was to the point where he couldn't even walk whenever it did hurt randomly Definitely is important to get this done, get him cleaned up, feeling good, 100%. But the first week after surgery is non-weight bearing. Um, so we're gonna chill at the house in Austin. Anyways, that's what the, I guess, the plan is going forward, hoping that the surgery's you know, okay. Just gonna be here waiting and I'll film when he gets back in. So, see y'all in a bit. Wolf. Wolfie. Hey bud. He's knocked out. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey Wolf. Oh, hey. Oh, oh you're okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay. Hey bud. Hey. Hey bud. Mm -hmm. You did great. Good job, babe. So proud of you. You did you it. You were conked out. For a solid, gosh, 40, almost 45 minutes, you've been back here. <laughs> My name's Grace. I'm going to be your post-op nurse, okay? How do you feel? Mm. Sleepy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, now that we kind of have you awake, I want you to try to stay awake, okay? Do you know who this is? Yeah, yeah, this is Ash. Oh, you remember my name. Good job, babe. Are you able to open your eyes at all? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my hands are cold. I'm sorry. I'm going to sit you up a little bit, okay? Oh, yeah. You doing okay? Hey, we'll stay awake. Well, if you can talk to me. Hey. What's what's going on? Oh. Uh, yeah? Do you remember anything about surgery? Or anything? Hey, like, I can go see if I'm doing a trip. Maybe in a boat. Yeah? I don't know what I'm saying, Yeah? <laughs> Don't, don't take try that to, off, yeah. Yeah, don't try to move your legs now. Your knee is blocked, so you shouldn't be able to feel yeah. anything. Yeah. Just try to stay awake, okay? You made it, Wolfie. So proud of you. Oh. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. Yeah. Tired? So tired. No. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> 
Nicole. Okay, let me get you a blanket. All right, about to get you home. Mm, good. All right, so Wolf just got out of surgery. There he is. Laying on the couch, his leg propped up. Oh, Jack's looking at me for some attention. He's trying to sleep. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Thank you. But he is laying down. He's getting some rest. Just said he was, sorry about the sun. He said he was just super tired. Um, not nauseous though. He's not throwing up. I'm not feeling sick. Looks good. He had something to eat when he got home and just to keep his leg propped up. Um, but yeah, I guess the bad thing about his surgery here, let me show you what the, uh, gave me pounds. <laughs> Okay, so here are the pictures the doctor took while in surgery. You can see um, kind of how it looks before he went in and dug. This is the, the cartilage tear that he scraped off of his cartilage. Um, then he found these two other cracks. He, he, he explains it right here, the fissure, fissures in his knee that he couldn't really fix which is, I don't really know if that's a good or bad thing. So that's one, and that's one. You kind of see the other one in this picture too. But so you can see it's kind of just, uh, it doesn't look very good, but I don't know. He, he didn't have too much pain with it before it was fixed. With all this, he didn't have that much pain. But he didn't take any plugs from the other part of his meniscus like he was showing. This is... He drew up a diagram. This is his meniscus right here. And he said that the tear was right here. And the other two fissures were on this side of his meniscus. And so the plan was to go in here and clean that up, scrape that off, and to go on this side of his meniscus, take out a plug, and put it on top of this. But he said since these were, uh, this side of his meniscus was cracked, and unstable he just left it the way it was which i don't know if that's a good or bad thing um we're gonna get a hold of the doctor tomorrow when he calls to check up on him um and ask more questions because i don't know if that's gonna make competing on it worse after um cleaning that off or not but um in order for him to get that fully like healed and covered up he needed a live healthy cartilage from a cadaver which is really expensive really hard to get you have to be put on a list but that could take weeks that could take months and that's just that would be too late um for us especially since we're training here pretty soon so that's what's going on that's the information we found out about his knee and keep you updated on his recovery so that's that's what happened